right, hi everybody. I'm going to work some more on all the little details. It's hard to paint in a short amount of time. So we're here to finish up. And I'm just gonna go in. I have Payne's Gray on my brush and I'm just, this is dry, so I'm going in now and just getting a few more details, getting the colors the values where they need to be. I gotta work on this eyeball over here. I'm going with our burnt sienna. Just a diluted wash and I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to his eye. I was looking at the shape of it from I kind of looked back and was squinting and he has kind of a, it kind of goes up over here. And then I need to add a little pyro in there. So I'm just working on getting the shape where it needs to be. And I might have gotten that a little. So I'm just pushing back the Payne's Gray with my brush. It's a nice even watercolor. You can kind of move it around. I'm gonna add a little burnt sienna in the corner of his eye over here. And I can kind of push out the dark and add a little highlight of the burnt sienna. If it's too much of a highlight, I can add a little more burnt sienna in there. <clears throat> we'll get the masking off and see what we need to do. I think I'm going to stick with burnt sienna, real diluted, and just kind of get this. It's too much. I wipe some off. Get this shape of his eye over here to the eyebrow and then I'll get a little more burnt sienna on my brush and go up in his eyebrows and these wrinkles up here just gonna get them in there I'm just really looking at my reference photo and trying to go around the shapes that are in the reference photo. If I come back and squint and it looks too harsh, I can always lighten a little up. Okay. Touch of a little paper towel just to kind of lighten. And his forehead up here, I'm gonna get a little perylene red and his forehead's pretty dark, pretty bright colors up here. A little perylene and a little Pyro orange. It's got a lot of color going on up here. And just bringing that color down where I see it. Be on the top of the eyebrow here, corner of his eye. And then he's got a really bright nose. A lot of color on the cheek, so I'm just go glazing again. Okay, he's taking shape. Get a little of my parent on orange, just real diluted, and I'm gonna kind of come get rid of that bright white highlight. It's light, but it's not that light. And then same thing over here, a little bit of the pyro, and just kind of go under his eye tone down that bright white okay now his mustache and everything is pretty dry so I'm gonna go in with um, Payne's gray pretty saturated on my brush here and we're gonna go in and fill in some of these <clears throat> now it's it's a mustache so it's not a straight line so we want to kind of make it you know, uneven, a little hairy line. I've got his teeth masked out so I can paint over them. And his mouth, light, just light over here because it's not solid black. And I can kind of get it. And we'll go in and darken up this lip over here a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna wipe some of it off my brush so I don't have so much 
And I'm gonna come down here and we're just gonna kind of pull from the um, Payne's Gray that we had. And like I was saying, you can push and pull. So I'm gonna come over here and push that back into the shape I want it to be. Cause it didn't really, it really kind of was uh, straight back here. It didn't go off into like a triangle. So just pushing back. And then I'm gonna pull up a little um, from the Payne's Gray here up into his mustache. So it makes it look, you know, like hairs on the mustache. And then we'll get a little pyro orange and I'm gonna come over here cause he's kind of, maybe it burnt sienna. Get a little burnt sienna on my brush and then kind of, he's kind of got burnt sienna over here and it kind of continues on the other side of the plate and I have it masked right there. So it continues under here. All right, he's shaping up. I've got burnt sienna so I'm just coming in and I'm checking areas I could add a little burnt sienna. I just noticed we have a bright white highlight, so I just got a little diluted pyrrole, and I'm gonna come up here because it's it's light, but not that light, and so I wiped off my brush a little because I had a little too much. So I'm just kind of filling in there. And we might come back in and do a little more with that. I wanna come over on his cheek on the right side. I'm gonna get a little more perylene red, and I'm going to really pop that red and he's really red over here okay now then I'm going to leave his face alone for a minute let it dry I might go up around the bottom of the hat I get a little Payne's gray and I'm gonna go and just define a little around the bottom of his hat here just a little definition and then continue that with the Payne's Gray over on this side. He's got those bushy eyebrows. Okay. I like that. All right. And then while we have Payne's Gray, I'm gonna come over here and use my finger as an eraser. Sometimes it's your best friend. There, so I just add a little more definition in the crook of that hat so you see the folds. And I can come down here. I'm gonna get into my pyro orange and I'm just gonna bring while I'm on his suit, I'm just gonna come down. And I told you that pyro orange is nice to glaze over. Um, makes that kind of candy apple red and his suit is that nice, bright Christmas red. So I'm gonna get the highlights and then we're gonna go in between with the um, Payne's Gray just to get the folds in the fabric. We'll work on cleaning this plate up a little bit. In fact, I can do a little of that now. Clean the edge up. I'll straighten up that plate in a minute. Okay. So his lips aren't bad. Let's come in here and work on his beard a little bit. Oh, there's a really dark area back here. So I'm gonna get into burnt sienna and I'm gonna come over here. I see now what all this masking was. So with my burnt sienna, I'm gonna come in over here and add some color. And we might even get a little of the horizon blue in here. But we're just gonna get a little, the, it shows the wispy hairs, get a little horizon blue. And throw and have enough and have water. The horizon blue, and we'll throw some in back here. When it mixes with that burnt sienna, it's gonna be a little more green. We don't want to mess up our cookie, so be careful when you're down here by the cookie. Cookie stays round there. And then I'm gonna come back in with the Payne's Gray right in here, but we gotta let it dry so it doesn't bleed all in there. So let's see, on his face, I'll go in with some burnt sienna. 
So right above, it's inside the plate, but in here, just get a little, okay. So let's let that dry, and then we'll come over to this side of his beard, and we'll look. Let's see. And I'm gonna add, this is burnt sienna that's on my brush left over, and I'm just gonna add a little stuff. I'm gonna dip into my Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray. So I'm gonna go around the outside of his lip because it's pretty dark. Here, he's got a nice pouty lip down there, so keep it nice and full. And it gets dark in there. I keep going on my helio. Okay. <clears throat> then we'll come over here and darken this. Okay. And we'll darken right along the bottom of this cup. Even around there. Okay. And I'm just kind of, I've got Payne's Grammy brush, so I'm just kind of going around and looking where else can I use that Payne's Gray. So we'll add a little definition into his hands here. Okay, so it's still Payne's Gray, and I'm just getting definition. Switch to the other hand. I'm so glad he's got gloves on, because if he had his fingers, they're harder to do. Gloves are easier. And this is that shadow line where the cup okay and then it's pretty dark down here I'm still with my Payne's Gray, and I'm just kind of making sure it looks furry on the edge here. Okay, I'm going to twist this around a little bit and clean up this edge. Make sure you can still see. Okay, so this uh, um, shadow where the plate was, I'm just going to clean it up uh, Payne's Gray, and I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight. I really don't like when things aren't straight. Well, straight's the wrong word. Curved on this one, but not ragged around the edge. Nice clean edge. Black, that's a better way to say it. So this is my, this is still um, Payne's Gray. It's kind of streaky and there's a little bit of gold so I'm gonna get into my Quinn gold and there's a little gold in here like along that it's kind of like part of you know his fur that goldy part of the fur so we'll just do that okay that's better so why we've got the thing flipped let's get our paints gray again kind of a diluted mat and we're gonna go work on this plate and get it nice and smooth and where I want it. How thick is it up there? Okay. I've got masking in there so when I pull the masking 
I'll have to do a little clean up again. This is still Payne's Gray. And at some point down here, here's the highlight. It stays Payne's Gray at some point in here at transitions. Okay, not bad. We're gonna stick with Payne's Gray because there is Horizon Blue. We threw that in earlier down here, but I am gonna stick with the Payne's Gray. It's still gonna look lighter than our other side because of the horizon. We've got a, a nice diluted wash that we're doing, but we're cleaning up our edges as we go. And there's a little red, so I got my paintbrush in the red, and it's fine because there's red in here. In fact, I'm gonna get some more of the Perlene Red and come in here, there's red in here from the suit. Back to Payne's Gray, I'm gonna kinda go in the middle. Okay. And back to Paraline Red. You know that push-pull we talked about? Well, this got the I'm gonna curve it back a little. Okay, so now we're down in his suit. I'm gonna get back in the um, Payne's Gray. And it's a furry sleeve, so I'm gonna give it some texture. Yes, Moose. And that's that plate, that shadow right there. And it gets really dark over here. I rinse my brush and I'm just gonna pull from that pigment I put down. Let's clean that up. Clean brush, just clean. Okay, back in Payne's Gray and come over here. So here's where the fold is on the inside of the plate. I'm just touching up a little bit. Now we come on the outside of the plate, so get it past that rim. And it's pretty smooth. This is a smooth fold. I'm gonna go back in with a little Paraline Red and push it back again. Push. Paraline Red, come on the other side. It softens the edges, pushes it back. Paraline Red again. Soften and push. Okay, and then get our Pyro Orange in the middle. It's a little too wet down here, so I'm gonna a little water with my brush. Just clean up so it's nice and good. Okay. So now, let's see, we need to add a little more. Now inside here is dark, that dark fold. Let's see, I might even need to do a little darker here. Dark, 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 this is Pi Payne's Gray. So it's pretty dark in here, so it's okay to kind of pull from the, it's inside this S, which is darker. Okay. Let's let that dry. We 
to come up and do that other little shadow. There's another little rim of a shadow. So I'm gonna do light, 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 Payne's Gray, and I'm just gonna come up and try to figure out where it is. Ah, I think it's part of this, okay. So it comes, that's too much, runs off. Got ditch some pigment. And it comes like that. And we're able to pull from the Payne's Gray at the top and the Payne's Gray at the bottom. And there's kind of like some striations and that helps get them in there. I had a little red blob from where I probably drug my sleeve through, so I'm just kind of scrubbing that out as I'm in there. All right, we'll let that dry. There's a, quite a bit of blue up at the top, so I'm gonna dip into my ultramarine blue. And it's at the top of his sleeve. There's some blue. So just get that color in there. All right, I'm gonna get in my burnt sienna while I'm here on the fur. I have that nice gold over here, and now I'm just adding some burnt sienna so it's got that furry look. What's happening down here? Okay, so we'll get back into some Payne's Gray. In the bottom of his sleeve, we'll just kind of let that go off the edge here. And then it's kind of blue again. We kind of switch color temperatures again. So we'll go back to Horizon Blue down here at the bottom. Pull from the Payne's Gray in the corner. We might even have to darken the Payne's Gray in the corner up. But we're going to pull from that. Nice. You got a nice furry sleeve. And we'll add a little color. There. Okay. And. Let's go in with a little Payne's Gray again, and we're just gonna kind of go around the sleeve. And I'm gonna go in a little Horizon Blue. This almost reminds me of the markings on the moon up there, which we did wet on wet. Let me make sure you're seeing what I'm painting, okay. So we did wet on wet up there, but I'm gonna just kind of you do the horizon blue down here. I had some red that was, like I said, from my sleeve. So I'm able to kind of scrub it out, thankfully. Thankfully, it was light enough to spray, or um, scrub. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. There's some gold down here at the base of his sleeve, so I'm gonna go back into my Quinn Gold, right around the cuff here. And actually, it gets pretty dark in the shadow. So I'm able to use that, um, Paint's gray we had on the sleeve. I'm even gonna go in some burnt sienna. Down here, cause you're seeing kind of the sleeve, the fur through the shadow of the glass. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure it looks furry. Payne's Gray again. Okay. Oh, his sleeve looks good. All right, so we'll go back up. I just noticed it's kind of dark, really dark, where the two hands, there's one hand meets the next hand. And it's more brown. Pull the brown up. Okay. And he's got some red on his knuckles, so perylene red. It's uh, from his suit. Oop, that's too much. 
from his suit, you're getting some of the red up onto his fingers. So I'm just gonna throw that color in there. A little over here. Isn't that like nice? And then I'm gonna go a little sepia over here. Okay, and then more, a little more sepia. It's kind of, it's really dark over here. We want to know it's a finger, but it's off to the side. Awesome! Did I say I was so happy he was wearing gloves? Okay, we're gonna go back into our Payne's gray. Try not to drag your sleeve like I was about to do. And now this should be dry up here, so I'm just gonna go. Let me see where it starts. Here's the plate. Okay, so I'm going to kind of make his thing go down, and then we're going to go around that plate. And remember, it's hair over here, so we'll kind of come into the hair a little. But it's dark. And we can add more color to it. I'm getting that shape in there. All right, we'll get a little more Payne's Gray just to darken up. We're just gonna drop that in there. We're not gonna change shapes or anything. Let me see, I'm gonna put my finger here. Is it dry, is it dry? Put my finger over here and just clean up. So his hat actually, it doesn't, we need kind of a, to pull from our Payne's Gray a little bit because he has you know, it's where the fabric's turning, so it's got a little dimension to it. So if we just pull from the Payne's Gray a little bit, it gives us that where it looks like the fabric's turning instead of abrupt, bright meets dark. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. All right. So let's take a look and see if we need to tweak anything. Maybe the milk cup a little bit. Let's go look at that. And I think I'm gonna have to get rid of masking and then I can really see what's going on. I know one thing I lost when I was doing these washes, I'm gonna add back in with my um, Burnt Sienna. I'm gonna add that nice diamond shape quilt pattern thing happening over here. Add a little Payne's Gray just to darken. <coughs> and then, and then this kind of. So it's just that quilted pattern, just the illusion of it. Dark down here. And this is where it's good to know, you know, if you just have these little bits here and there, you get, like I said, the illusion of it without having to do every line. If you did every little diamond pattern in that glass, it would not look real. Your brain fills in a lot. So if you just give a hint here of this, you know, of that pattern, your brain will say, okay. And I'm gonna add a dark down here. because where it's sitting, it's actually dark. Okay. Now, I have Payne's Gray. I'm wiping some of it off on my paper towel, and I'm gonna come over here on this beard, because it's kind of dark, because it's going into the shadows, so we're just gonna pull from colors we have, because we don't want it to be bright white where it's going, turning into the shadow. So I'm pulling from the Payne's Gray. I'm gonna go get a little um, oh, Horizon Blue. And throw that in there, and then we'll probably get a little of the helio green. Helio green, and toss a little of that in there. Maybe a little more. Okay. I'm 
I'm really looking at my reference photo. We did lose some of our little beard things that we had left, those wispy areas. Which probably we're not going to miss them. I'm going to go back in with a little burnt sienna at the top of his. Because, you know, as it dries, it dries a little lighter. And so I just want to add some of that burnt sienna back in up here. He's got a good stash. Okay, his eye and this white of the eye is not, we're gonna get a little horizon blue. Um, the white of the eye is never white, white. So I'm just gonna throw in a little horizon blue just to give it a little blueness. Same thing, well, I've gotta get rid of the masking before I can do it over there. But the same thing, we'll get rid of the bright white, just add a little bit of the blue. You know it's the white of the eye, but it doesn't need to be bright white. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little, burnt sienna and come over here and do some of these beard shapes. And he's got his mustache, but he's got some shapes down in here. Okay. All right, see, so we'll stick with some burnt sienna down in here. And we might do a little ultramarine. Just a little ultramarine. Gives it that kind of little purplish tint down here. And that ultramarine gives us a little of that purplish tint. Still with the ultramarine, very light, light, light. And I'm just kind of looking at the shapes down here and just getting some of the curly cues. And, and I'm gonna fill in, oh, I think with a little light, but so it's not white, white down here and there's a lot of the horizon. I'm just filling in with some of the ultramarine just to kind of put it in shadow down here at the bottom. So his beard's kind of bluish on this side because of the book, I think. I am gonna take my scrubber brush. I'm gonna pull a few of the wisps from his beard. Just pull a couple of wispiness. Maybe I need my thinner one. That'll do it. This little brush is called an eradicator. It's a small eradicator from Rosemary Brush. Someone in a class gave it to me and I like it a lot. Um, so like I said, I have my other synthetic brush that's an old synthetic that's all worn out that I use for scrubbing stuff out and I was using it in the milk cup earlier. This little brush, it has a, it's flat and it's thin and so you can get nice, um, a little more point to it, a little more of an edge to it. Okay, so we got some of those wisps back. Get one more down here. That are in the shadow of that glass, so that's that glass shadow. All right, I think we're gonna pull masking off stuff and finish tweaking and we're almost done so we probably needed like another hour in class i'm not a fast painter so it's always a marathon in these workshops but it's good because you get a lot done and you can really do things faster than i do in normal time but i also like to take my time sometimes so I, while I have my eradicator brush out, I'm gonna go and just kind of clean up some of my bubbles, the insides. I want that dark edges to be real thin. So I'm just kind of cleaning up. Okay, let's see. So I got that a little wet, so I have to be careful. So I'm gonna go take masking off. We'll 
see what we gotta clean up. I'm trying not to shake the camera, but it happens. See, we masked that thin line down there. That's nice because it kept it clean. This is a rubber cement pickup. That's what I use to take my masking off. If you don't have one, I highly suggest you get one. Our cup is actually pretty good. We'll just have to clean a few things up. Phew, but not as bad. See how that makes it sparkle a little bit more? I'm gonna go into some clean water with that small little brush. I got, and actually there's a little bit, it kind of works for us, but I'm just gonna clean it up. Okay, got rid of that. Alrighty, so the masking's off that. I think I could do the gloves. Take the masking off the gloves. We shouldn't have to do too much work because, you know, it's like a oil painting with Santa and so it's kind of blocky brush marks. See if we can do the plate. I don't want to get into this if it's wet. Let's see if you can see everything. Alright, so here's that S shape we talked about in this these lines. So I'll go in, show you what we'll do about this. While things are drying up there, and bubbles are drying in the milk. Okay. So we do not want this to be so white. So we're gonna take our, br our round brush and we're gonna just get a little water on it and I'm just gonna pull from the pigment around it. And I'm just staying in that semicircle plate. So this is like the bottom of the plate and you're seeing a little highlight from it sitting on the book. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna pull from, I think I still have some masking on there. Pull from the pigment around. See how easy that is? It looks good. Okay, this has a white spot, so I'll just clean that up. We don't need a white spot there. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Payne's Gray. Oops, I went in my green and clean this up. So this is not, okay, and I have that little highlight over here. Little Payne's gray, and we'll just go on the other side of it. Where's my eradicator? So I'll go with my eradicator. I lost some of that highlight. It wasn't nice and clean like I wanted it, so I'll do that. And then take a paper towel and do that. Voila, we got it back. So now we can clean up again. So go in with my Payne's Gray. Start up here. Okay, we've got our highlight. Let's just make sure it's the right curve. All right, we got some of that back. Let's go take white off of Santa. We need to do some work on his face. And I had some of the hairs in the hat. Up here, take 
get off the horn. Horn's not too bad. I got it off the doll when I did the book. Okay. All right, let's go work on Santa. Payne's gray. And we're gonna get that eyeball back. Okay, it's got a little glint. I guess that's what I was masking out and I got big glint. All right, and then his eyeball kind of goes. Okay, what's going on over here? Get some of that black back and then Okay, and if pupil actually comes down, it's just a little bit of brown. Let me see, all right, good. So you wanna make sure the dots are kinda of in the right, together at the same spot so that he's looking. Don't wanna look like cross-eyed or funky, so if the dots are kinda of in the same location, helps with that. Those highlights are really pretty highlighted because it's a painting. You know, we're doing a painting of a painting. His teeth just have a little ch -ch 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 in there, so that's cool. We don't have to do a lot of little teeth. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look and see up here. I'm just gonna add a little uh, Payne's Gray. Just kinda do 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 do, and then do 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 around there. And let's look. And then I'm gonna work on this plate. I'm trying to do not drag through Santa's eyes. That would be so sad. Okay. All right, so I need to keep really steady. Smooth. Okay. Hold your breath. All right, what's happening over here? It's kind of red in the hat. So we'll get a little perylene red and come over here and fill that in. A little red right there. Okay. And we can, I will clean my brush and I'm just gonna kinda do that. So it's not like it's so op opaque. Okay. Clean up the line, make sure it's okay. back to Payne's Gray, and I'm just cleaning up line, straightening things. Right. Payne's Gray. Paints gray again. Okay. Let's go look over here. Really dark up here in his beard. So I'm gonna get Payne's Gray, Payne's Gray, Payne's Gray. It's real saturated. Kinda starts here and really it's where the white beard is. That's the darkest. And then we'll taper it. It kind of gets thin again and that gets a highlight up here. Okay. okay. And then we'll 
I'll just get a little dark in the middle here. Okay, my eradicator again. Pull up that highlight middle. Perfect. Alrighty. <clears throat> so let's just go back touch up anything I'm gonna go throw a little ultramarine here because it's like this really bright blue spot here even a little into here so we're gonna make that blue kind of come down and then it's got kind of a bright spot here let's see and it's ultramarine and it's got a bright spot there and this is a little too much right here so I'm just gonna the thirsty brush pull some of that out. Okay. Over here is not so white. So I'm gonna get a little helio green dove it on my paper towel. It's not really bright white here. It's got a little green to it there's a little white spot here and then I'm gonna get the sepia and really do this it almost looks like a wooden stick but I know it's the bag I need to pull the book out so I can see all right happy 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 with all that now i'm gonna go up and fix my cup and i think we can call it done i'm gonna add a little perylene red to his lip especially on this side Happy with that lip. Pretty happy with the cup. I mean the plate. I tell you what, sometimes I cause myself more trouble. I can't leave well enough alone. Alright. Let's go look at this milk cup. See if we got so I still have paints gray on my brush and this just kind of okay so here's that and it kind of hit and miss ch -ch 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 across and same thing down here ch -ch -ch across okay and I'm just cleaning up edges so they're smooth rounded Like over here, we need to, you can pull from color already on there. Or you can dip and get a little Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray is great for glass. Um, I still have some masking on there. It's just a great color for glass because it's not black and it's got a little blue in it and just a nice color. Get a little burnt sienna and touch up. I'm not as thrilled as I could be with my bubbles. Let's add a little burnt sienna. Probably they could just use, oh, and I've got to, I didn't get all the masking off of them because 
That'll help. I need to get the masking off because I didn't touch them because I had uh, just touched something up. So we'll go get the masking off the bubbles. That'll help. Give them some glimmer, shimmer. Paints gray again, and we're just gonna come. sepia, too much sepia, try that again, this on the edges here, um. Not bad. Okay, let's feel if they're dry. Let's... I have a little glimmer, but I still not super thrilled with my bubbles. Let's see, we'll add a little sepia. I know I'm doing the opposite that I should because I just got rid of all my masking and now I'm trying to tweak again so I'll lose some. Just kind of softening up where I had some of the paints gray around the edges and I'm gonna soften, I'm gonna add a little yellow back into some of these bottom ones. So there's some bright ones, there's like varying color stages of colors in these bubbles, so I'm just going to add a little of the yellow. Okay. Little Payne's Gray. I think what it is is I got not dark enough. Let's see if it's dry enough. So the very edge where it meets is really dark. I think I like soften too much. Alright, that's a little better. for masking that I missed. Rinse my brush out really good and I'm gonna clean, you know, like pull from the colors around it and get that, okay. What's happening in here? Okay, this 
These are squiggle, but we're gonna soften a little because they're kind of thick. I pulled the masking. And we'll just soften a little. In fact, right around this cookie, so we'll get into the Payne's Gray. The cookie, it's dark, 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 right? Not my cookie, so that's gonna help. I already drug my hand through something, so we're just gonna Add a little color there, get rid of that little smudge. Let's see, there's some more kind of fur like texture in here. So this is pretty dry brush. Doing some kind of dry brushing. There's not a white line there, so I'm gonna get my Haynes Gray and touch up. Okay. Let's check out Santa's face, see if we like everything. And you, like this is a bright white highlight, but I'm gonna tone it down just a little. His nose is pretty white, but in the middle, I kind of got rid of a little. Let's see, that looks good. We'll get a little burnt sienna. Do his wrinkles over here and the crinkles. Touching up. So this highlight is like running into the other highlight. So I'm just going to, and that one's way too big. Okay. A little paraline red, and we'll just go one more time over on this cheek. It's really, really, really red. And then right in here, darker. I need a little paint gray because I just noticed like there's not a high, it's like dark, dark, dark over here. Off to the side of his face. Kind of under his little Santa bag. Santa's been up all night, so he's got bags under his eyes. Okay, I probably do too. All right, we'll add some more Paraline. Let's get that cheek really red. Let me add a little Pyrrole. orange in there. Come over with our orange, pyro orange, and just do this cheek again. I'm really jolly. Okay, and then burnt sienna. I still had some of the orange in my brush, but I'm going into burnt sienna, so it's fine to not Clean it. Alrighty, and then just get these wrinkles again. And then kind of almost V. I'm just gonna go look and see if I can touch anything up. I kind of want to. Um, little Quinn gold down here. Right around the edge there. Let's see. All right, I 
feeling pretty satisfied. Let me see how long. Hey, one hour almost exactly. Perfect. So let me see if you can see everything. I'm gonna scoot it up just a little bit so you can see it all. So that's about it. I'll probably sign my name right down here. And you cleaned up. The other thing you can do is kind of run your hands over and make sure you got all of your